Ever since The Terminator came out in 1984, people have been afraid of a robot takeover. No matter the level of rationality and logic you have, there's always that looming fear in the back of your mind that robots could spell doom for humanity. Right now, that fear seems to be that robots will replace human workers and lead us into greater wage caps and poverty rather than annihilation. With that said though, how plausible is a future robot takeover, and are our jobs safe? Based on a survey from Debate.org, 57% of people believe that a robot takeover is imminent. The responses of those surveyed cite the lack of need for humans when robots are optimized with AI, or on the other hand, they cite that robots and AI were made by humans, so they will always need human commands and controls to function. The problem with the argument stating that robots will always need commands and human control is that it already really isn't true. Sifting through the multitude of studies on the subject, Wired says it best when they say we won't be programming computers, we'll train them like dogs, which is essentially the concept that machine learning already presents. The fact is that AI algorithms can already write their own code. We're currently using this technology to generate codes for programs that would otherwise take years for humans to write. It's not science fiction, it's everyday life. So do generative AI programs mean doom for the human race? Well, maybe. Stephen Hawking said that he fears that robots could take over in only about a hundred years. I guess that means we're safe, but our grandchildren and great-grandchildren may face some adversity. Hawking said that a robot would take off on its own and redesign itself in an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, wouldn't be able to compete and would be superseded. And he's mostly right. AI algorithms can generate much faster than human thinking, and that's why we use them today to write code for us. Elon Musk also believes that AI is our biggest existential threat to our existence. Yikes. Engaging further into a common thought experiment involved with artificial intelligence, imagine a machine solely designed to create as many paperclips as possible. It's an AI machine programmed with the sole purpose, make as many paperclips as possible. Based on a study on the ethical issues in advanced artificial intelligence by Nick Bostrom from Oxford University, even a machine as simple as this would want to take over the world. The argument states that this machine would want to take over the world so it had access to more resources to ultimately make as many paperclips as possible. We might be doomed. Okay, okay, but so robots may soon wipe us off the face of the earth, but let's talk about what we're all really concerned about. Are they going to take our jobs? Researchers from Rice University say yes, and if you're younger than 40 right now, it's probably going to happen before you retire. Yikes again. The job you're in right now probably isn't safe, but then again, did you ever think it was? Look 30 years into the future. Even without AI in the game, your job is already going to look drastically different than what you do now. Workflows will change, responsibilities will change, everything will change. That's just a given. As jobs evolve and the workforce evolves, we adapt. When AI is brought into the picture to replace our current jobs, we will be forced to either legislate our way to economic security or face becoming obsolete. Being human and all, I'm particularly in favor of the not becoming obsolete route. If we allow AI to take over the world, robots will spell doom for the future of humanity on our current trajectory. However, I will hold on to my belief that humans will actively acknowledge that AI may become a threat and set blocks in place to keep a takeover from happening. Because, as history has shown, humans are great at seeing potential threats and eliminating them before they... Oh. Huh. However, there are converging opinions. Many are of the opinion that the robot takeover will spell a job boom, as long as we set in place a few guiding criteria for AI's advance, according to Fortune. Okay, so we solved that issue. We will have a job in the future, but it probably won't look like the same job we have now or even are dreaming of right now. Wait, wait, wait. Couldn't someone who wanted to destroy the world release a malicious AI program that would autonomously corrupt every future robot worker and turn them against us? And could your grandmother opening that email from a deposed Saudi prince set it all in motion? Well, probably. For those of you old enough to be able to find this memory, let's all curl back to our Y2K fears and lose all hope for the future of the world. Thanks, technology. Okay, okay, but I am being a little bit of a catastrophist. Well, 
it could happen, according to Gizmodo. The terrorists of the future could potentially release malicious AI programs to control all connected machines. This is bolstered by the emergence of the Internet of Things, IoT, making every machine accessible through a central hub. The New York Times reports even further on how big of a deal AI cyber attacks will become and even mentions that malware is becoming more automated as we speak. If you're reading this and trying to give qualm to your fears of one day being killed by your robotic IoT connected couch of the future that has been hijacked by a paperclip AI machine from Kentucky, I'm sorry. Since the world of artificial intelligence is one that will be generated by AI themselves, it is a little hard to anticipate how we will overcome the problems of the future, or even prevent a malicious AI takeover. The best answer I can give you is humans are pretty smart. We're, um, we're good at doing things and stopping things from happening. Yes. No. And we're probably going to be able to keep ourselves from getting destroyed by artificially intelligent robots? Probably. And I'd like to compare our ability to stop a future robot takeover much to the same way that we have stopped climate change. Devastating oil spills. C cyber attacks? W world... World wars? Yep, we're gonna be fine. Great, I feel good about that conclusion. Um, alright. Let's just, uh, send the video here.